Things like poisonous snakes, insects, and urchins are typically described as beautiful. They're not. Uh, a new exhibit is looking to change the way we see them and our perceptions. That's right. Shane Wells is at the Science Museum of Minnesota getting a look at their new exhibit. It's called Exquisite Creatures. We prepped you to see some things that maybe would be a bit repulsive if you saw them in the wild, but actually when you walk in, the first thing you encounter, beauty, things that are inherently beautiful, butterflies, and flowers, incredibly preserved flowers, I might say. Catherine Early, the head of biological collections here at the Science Museum of Minnesota. Walk us through this because we're seeing flowers, but we're, we're, we're thinking we're gonna see snakes and stuff like that. Yeah, so the artist Christopher Marley is really drawn to color and unique morphologies in nature. Morphology is the science term for shape. And so you can see there's a lot of incredible shapes in these flowers. They so, yeah. still look alive. They do, yeah. It looks like there's a, a vase of water behind each one. <laughs> right, but they're not. And this is part of his magic. Yes. And this is a really cool collection here at the Science Museum because we're seeing art and science kind of come together as one. Yes. Walk us through kind of how this ties into the Science Museum and collecting. You know, the reason he has gotten into this art is because he's really passionate about biodiversity. Um, about the natural world and so obviously that's something we care a lot about too. We keep collections so that we can understand the natural world better. Uh, a lot of his pieces like that orchid piece uh, focus on a lot of individuals put together in a collection and he does that to show the symmetry, uh, maybe the similarities and differences um, or it's just visually stunning to see everything arranged in that way. Uh, for our biology collections we are interested in individual specimens, sure. but we're also interested in what the collection as a whole can tell us. And that's a great example of a collection of species. This isn't how you would do it. <laughs> no, this isn't how we would do it in, in our biology collection. Usually, uh, so we can see this frame is like a drawer. We would have all the same species in one drawer so we can compare across them. Uh, but the way he has them ordered, is kind of similar to the collection. We want everything in nice, uh, neat rows. We want space between things so it's easy for us to pick up an individual and study it. Another big difference would be that underneath each one of these, there would be a tiny tag with information about where and when the specimen came from. Sure. That's not of interest to the art, so, so it's not included. It would be visual clutter, but that's actually uh, just as important as the specimen itself in our collection is having that data. This is a great example of what the artist is trying to illustrate because pythons, uh, creepy creatures you could say, but I was just watching somebody look at this one and say, wow, that's absolutely gorgeous. And you just don't think pythons and gorgeous would go in the same sentence, but they do. If you wanna check out Exquisite Creatures, it's gonna be here through September 4th and you can get into this gallery with your admission. Back to you.